In this video, I will show you how to generate and download the new on-demand self-service power consumption report in the Equinix customer portal. This report provides you with power consumption metrics associated with your deployments in sites with branch circuit monitoring and AC power. As you can see, I am already logged into the customer portal. The first thing to note is that you need to have permissions enabled in order to generate this report. To check your permissions, click your username at the upper right corner and select user settings. Click the permissions tab. Here you will see a permission style for the power consumption report. For sites or cages that don't have the permission, select the open checkbox and click request permission. You will be prompted to select a company administrator to send the request to. Company administrators have this permission enabled by default. Now, let's move on to generating the actual report. Navigate to the Reports menu and click the Report Center. Click Power Consumption Report. In the Locations field, you can select an individual site or multiple sites that you want your power consumption data for. Next, you need to select the hierarchy level of the report. The available options are cage, cabinet, or circuit and meter. The data shown in the power consumption report is aggregated to the selected hierarchy level. For example, if you select cage as the hierarchy level, each row in the output report represents one day's data aggregated for each cage. To see more granular data for each individual cabinet, circuit, and meter, you must select those as the hierarchy level for the report. If you select circuit and meter as a hierarchy level, you can include power meter data in the report by selecting this include power meters used for billing checkbox. Next, you need to select the assets that you want power consumption data for by selecting individual or multiple cages, cabinets, and circuits. When you're ready, click the next button. In the time span field, you need to select the duration of power consumption data that you want for the report. The predefined options are yesterday, past 30 days, last month, last quarter, last year, or custom date. Custom date allows you to choose your own preferred date range through a pop-up calendar. You can specify up to three years prior, but only a maximum of one year at a time. If you choose yesterday, last month, last quarter, or last year in the time span, you can select the recurrence checkbox underneath to schedule recurring reports on a daily, monthly, quarterly, or annual basis, respectively. After this, you can enter a customized report name or leave the default name as is. Then select the report format as Excel or CSV. Lastly, you can send the report to additional recipients by entering their email addresses. Click Submit. To view the report, click Track in My Reports tab. Your new report is shown at the top of the reports list. Click Download at the right to download the report. If you've scheduled a recurring report, you can change its settings by selecting the Manage Reports tab and clicking Edit. That concludes the demo for the Power Consumption Report. Thanks for watching.